Hello guys, this is the Retro Gamer 06 back at ya. Uh, now, I did this video yesterday, This is and this will be a, a part two. Now, I did not mean for this to be split into parts, because uh, you know, my story on my phone is like 30 minutes, so hopefully this will be a final part. If not, expect part three. So this is where we left off, uh, Final Fantasy 3. Uh, you guys missed the first part. Please check my video. Uh, I'll put the link down in the description box. So let's get on with this review, guys. The pages, there we go. And in case you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. It does help out a lot. Uh, I am working on getting uh, a Twitter account. So y'all can start following me. Really cool PSP package illustration. You know the characters. Now like the first Final Fantasy game. You get to choose your uh, class. The story of Final Fantasy 3. Feel free to pause this. So you guys can read it. Your characters. Words of the Light. Scenes. Very cool. There's a sprite. So you got red mage, black mage, uh, you know, bar, a knight, uh, monk. Really cool. And yeah, and uh, if you guys are liking this video, please hit that like button for me. Uh, it does help out a lot. And hit that notification button for more videos so you won't miss it. And it's showing you, this is the main character, uh, Lunith, the main uh, pr uh, protagonist of this one, Final Fantasy III. And I like how it shows what he looks like for each class. So that's really cool. Now, I've played this game a long time ago. I think I've only played this game maybe twice, I think. But I would like to revisit this game. Uh, I know it's on Steam, I think. Uh, so, yeah, I like to play this game. There we go. If I'm going too fast, please pause this so y'all can look at it. Uh, and I made this before. I highly recommend this book if you're a huge Final Fantasy fan or you just like RPGs in general. Uh, they are going about 40 bucks a piece. And actually, I don't forget, I'll put the link down, but you can get these books. Again, there's three volumes as of right now. Uh, I'm sure there'll be more. Uh, but they're about... Forty dollars a pop. Uh, uh bigbadtwitter.com. Uh, that's the same site I've been getting my figures. So I'll put the link down in the description box so y'all can order it. Honestly, uh, you might find them cheaper like on eBay or, or Amazon. But the good thing about Big Bad Toy Store dot com is that they ship pretty quick. Like, seriously, like, as soon as you order it, the next day, they, like, ship it. It takes about, at least where I live, about three or four days, and it's, like, already on my front front porch. So, fast shipping is always good, you know? Yeah, if I don't get through this, expect a part three of this. See, so you got your world map. Really nice locations right here. And 
And there's my cat. He's an outdoor cat. Named Jack. Anyway. And there's my other cat, Gwen. Here are your monsters. Really love the artwork. Like I said, I think it's the same guy who did the artwork of Vampire Hunter D, the novel, the books. Which surprisingly... Vampire Hunter D is not very popular here in the West. Uh, because, you know, they made a uh, manga, or manga, how you pronounce it. Only ran for like seven volumes. Volume eight was the last one. However, it never, uh, it never came out in the West. It all came out in Japan and, uh, France. But, oh well, it is what it is. Very nice. Yeah, see, I, I haven't played this game in a long time, so I'm not familiar with the story. Hell Divers. A familiar enemy. I know those guys were in uh, Final Fantasy IV as well. Leprechaun, Rustbird. Yeah. So... Again, feel free to pause this so y'all can look at it. I mean, for $40, you're getting a lot out of this book. And I thought it was just artwork. When I first saw this at uh, Barnes & Noble, I thought it was just art. But it's not. It's everything. Like the making of it, the store, the characters, the monsters. Just amazing. The summons, yeah, Shifa. Odin. Ifrit. You know, when I was a kid, I pronounced it Ifrit for, for a very long time. But then I kind of realized it was pronounced Ifrit. Leviathan. Bahamut. Some people pronounce it uh, Bahamut, uh, but I think it's Bahamut. Uh, the King of Dragon. Yeah, see. My favorite summon. I, I mean, he, he, he looks cool as why I like him. Is the Neo Bahamut from 557. I like him. And Bahamut Zero is pretty cool also. Yeah, there's like three different Bahamas in Final Fantasy VII. Your sprite creations right here. Really cool. I mean, so many memories just looking at this book. Yeah, you got Bard, Magus, Summoner, Sage. Scholar, uh, thief, really cool stuff. Yeah, this is really, really neat. Again, I know I can repeat myself, but I highly recommend this for any Final Fantasy fan. Uh, and I might have mentioned this in my other, when I did my Final Fantasy review. Uh, I can't remember which one it was now. Uh, Final Fantasy is what got me into RPG. So, you know, just like Resident Evil got me into uh, survival horror. Monster list. Very neat. Yeah, weapon animation. Very cute, cute artwork here. That's very nice. 
background music and effects list. Oh, that's really cool. It's like the look of it's like the soundtrack. Very nice. Yeah, I think what we're looking at here is the original Final Fantasy III, I think. I mean, like I said, when Final Fantasy III finally came out, it was like in 3D. But now they're remastering these games. Maybe we'll play Final Fantasy III for the first time in 2D. So that's very exciting. I can't wait for that. Very cool. Oh, this is cool. This is the remake new material. I think this is a DS version or PSP. Very nice artwork. Yeah, if, 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 I, if I'm going a little too fast, please pause it so y'all can you know, see it more. And these airships are very famous in, in the Final Fantasy series. Uh, especially the older ones, you know. And they brought these back in uh, Final Fantasy IX. Memories. All the memories, I guess, when they were uh, making this game. Yeah, see, this is the 2D version. Very, very nice. Yeah, whenever I get a chance, I'm going to definitely, like, just sit and, and read it carefully. Now, Final Fantasy IV, my favorite. I, I guess I, I just love the story in this one. I love the characters. That's uh, Kane. He's a Dragoon Knight. I know your logos. I think this one, yeah, see, this is the DS. I never put the DS version. Uh, I heard it was hard. Uh, I might play this one uh, if I get my hands on it. Because I've only played, you know, the 2D version. And they have the uh, Game Boy Advance version. I used to have that one. But when I first played it, I played it on the PS1. It was uh, Final Fantasy Chronicles. And here are the we got Famicom, Super Nintendo. By the way, Super Nintendo, it was actually called Final Fantasy II. Uh, yeah, see? Final Fantasy Chronicles. I used to have that. That's when I very first played uh, Final Fantasy IV. And it also has Chrono Trigger, too. And I never beat Chrono Trigger. I played it, but I never beaten it. I would like to play it sometime, though. Collection, PlayStation Limited Edition, you know, you got Wii slash Wii U Virtual Console, DS, Game Boy Advance. See, some of these stuff I'm not, I, I never seen before. But it doesn't say what, I guess it's worldwide. I never heard, I, I, I this is the first time I've seen this one. See, this is the one I had right here. I remember this box art. Very nice. Yeah, I just love the story in this one. Because like I said in my part one video, uh, that's that's the main character. He's a paladin. But yeah, like I said in my, my previous video, I, Final Fantasy IV just really stood out to me. I love the story. I love the characters. Very nice. I, I, I really wanted to want to play uh, Final Fantasy VI again. I got it on Steam, but it crashed. But I'm going to try it again. If not, I might wait until they remaster it and play it again. Cecil, Rosa, and Kane. That's Rosa. Cecil, the main protagonist. And that's Kane, the Dragoon. Awesome character. 
DS package illustration. That's I believe that's Edge. He's a ninja. That's Radia or right. I didn't pronounce it Radia, but I think it's Radia. She's a summoner. But if you never played Final Fantasy IV, do yourself a favor and play it. It's a good. I mean, yeah, it, it's an old game, but it's a very good game. Store is really good. And there's your characters. Yeah, see, this is a remake. This is a DS version 3. I Again, I never played this version, but I would like to. I think it's on Steam. So I may get it on Steam, or I might buy a physical copy. I'm not for sure. So that's really cool. Same graphics as Final Fantasy 3. See, that's him. Uh, you start you start as a Dark Knight, and then later you become a Paladin. Really cool. And this is very interesting. He is 20 years old. I never knew that. Because, see, the games don't tell you their age. Not really. I mean, because in any Final Fantasy game, for the most part, if you to know their age, you gotta look through the manual, whatever. Hometown unknown. Very cool. That's cool looking. This is slightly spread out. <laughs> I like when they make jokes like this, you know, the creators. I believe this is a Game Boy Advance version right there, I think. Because right now, I have it on, on PSP, which is a complete collection. I've already did a review on that. If you guys missed it, it's right there in my channel. He's 21. Okay, so he, he's a year older than Cecil. So that's good to know. Hopetown uh, Baron. Very nice. And I like on these pages, it tells you which one you're on. See, we're on four. A rough sketch of Cain. That's very interesting. Very, very nice. Very cool. Yeah, quotes. Again, feel free to pause it if you want to read these. I doubt this is going to be the final part. I'm going to do a part three. Uh, we still got two more to go. There's Rosa. She's 19. Hometown Baron. Dominant Hand Wright. CGI version. Yeah, she's uh she's a white mage. And there's our summoner. That's her when you first meet she's a little girl and then she gets older. Yeah, see seven before growth. Hometown mist. Yeah, that's where the, uh, that's the hometown of the summoners. CGI version of her. Very nice. Cool.
quotes. There's Tala, he's a mage, or no, he's a sage. He's 60. Edward, he's a bard. He's 24. Like, you know, Dandelion from the Witcher games or the series. Quotes from them. Sprites. And there's Yang. He's a monk. 35. Good character. He was more of a decent character to me. I'm not saying he's bad. I mean, he does get, get, get some good, good skills, but... I don't really use them a, a, a whole lot unless it's story based. Ah, yes, the twins. Palum and Parum. They're. That's the. Uh, the brother, he's a black mage. The sister is a white mage. They're trouble. He's a troublemaker. Yeah, they're. They're five. Very cool. There's a CGI version of them. Interesting characters. There we go. There's Sid. See, again, there's a, a Sid in every Final Fantasy game. He's a, he's an engineer. And I just say, he's... I think Yang is more powerful than him. He's a, a decent character. He does a decent amount of damage. But I love his personality. He's funny. And there's Edge. He's actually, he's a ninja, but he's also a prince. Uh, what was his hometown? Eblin, yeah. He's 26. Very cool picture of, of, of him. Yeah, you... You get him much later on. I think he's the last one you get in your party. And I cannot pronounce that Fusoya. He's a uh, he's a lunar. Yeah, it's all unknown. Uh, can't tell you much about him. It'd be a spoiler alert if you don't if you haven't. Well, it may stay on here, but yeah, I think I just spoiled it for you guys. You can see it right there if you read it. So <laughs> feel free to pause it. Yeah, actually, you know what? I'm wrong. You get him, lad. You get him much, much later. Uh, for the first season, later on the game, you get a uh, some agent ship called the Lunar Whale, and you can travel to the moon, and that's where you meet him. Gobez. He's the guy you're after. 30 years old. But is he the main antagonist? Hmm. We shall see. Hmm. 
There you go. So yeah, so you turn, turn to the moon. And he's got very powerful spells. So he's a really good, good, good character. You got your quotes. You got these boss, bosses right here. That's an undead type. This guy's a water type. And he, she's the wind. And then you have fire. And this is edges like Arch Nemesis, the ninja I'll tell you about. Because, spoiler, uh, he killed Edge's parents. So that's why Edge is after him. And once again, you get the world map of Final Fantasy IV. Location. And this is the underworld. Uh, underground. This is where the dwarves live. And you go here several, uh, several times. If I'm mistaken, right there is a blacksmith. This is where you get the main protagonist, uh, Excalibur sword. I think that might be his final weapon, but I'm not 100% sure. And there's the moon. It's not very big, as you can see. The monsters. I remember. I remember him. Ant lion. Mob bomb. Zoo. Scene. So I'm running out of time, so I may have a part three up. The three sisters. Giant doll, that, that's a boss fight, I remember that. Yeah, these, these are all boss fights. You could tell, like, everyone from, from Frankenstein, that's his creature. Green Dragon. King of Babylon. I had these trapped, or you have to be careful. They cast a uh, doom or something, they kill you one hit. But be careful. Demon Wall. If you guys play Final Fantasy Seven, you know what that is. Armor Construct, Bone Dragon. Remember those guys? You fight these guys in the very last dungeon. And there's the final boss right there. Zemus or Zemus. Extra content. Your summons.
Very nice vehicles. And there's a lunar well right there. Very nice. Character illustrations. documentations and stuff. 